Here's another example of getting an estimate by rounding. And this is a pretty realistic ex example, and this is one that really does work pretty well. You go to the hardware store and you select the following items. Some light bulbs for $15.95, some batteries for $3.95, and so on. And you've got all these items and you have $50 in your wallet. You want to know if you have enough to make this purchase. And it, it'll actually take a good bit of time to add all these numbers up exactly. And you don't need an exact number. You just need to know if $50 is going to be enough to make the purchase. So you can round these. And these round pretty nicely. $15.95, for example, the first one in the list, is pretty close to 16. So we'll just round that to 16. And $3.95 is pretty close to 4. And $2.95 rounds to 3. $6.95 rounds to 7. $8.15 will round that one down to 8. And $4.25 will round down to 4. And we want to add these up. So let's add them up. The 16 and the 4 together give me a 20. This 3 and the 7 give me a 10, and I know that 8 plus 4 there is 12, so I can just add up the 20 and the 10 and the 12. The 20 and the 10 give me a 30, and then 12 more is 42. And that's not exact, but that's reasonably close. So if those are going to cost $42, then the $50 that I have in my wallet should be enough. And I can go to the register without having to worry about coming up short or anything like that. And I can do this without having to, having to pull out a calculator or having to uh, add up all of these numbers exactly. And this is the kind of thing you might actually need to be able to do. Just make a quick estimate, maybe even in your head, to see if the situation showing up at the hardware store with $50 is going to, to work, is going to be practical or not.